With the Moro arc coming to a close, Dragon Ball Super has released some statements regarding the next storyline. Beyond Moro, what is going to be happening? With the new leaked pages that came out, it was implying that potentially Moro could get a second or third chance against Goku with him giving him that sensu bin, but it actually turns out that there is only a few more chapters left in this story. So by December of this year, they will be announcing a brand new story for Dragon Ball Super, meaning that once again, an arc is at an end, but the story is still not over. The thing, especially right now with all these leaked pages coming out about DBS, it is very much emphasized that this series is basically a freestyle. At the moment, there is no real direction going forward. In this short little interview, it is said that right now, currently, the Moro arc is at its climax. It's not going to get any better than this. This is the climax. After this chapter that comes out in three days, the entire storyline is going to be wrapping up, which means a new one is going to be starting soon. But what I think is very interesting and telling about Dragon Ball Super as a franchise, they don't actually have a plan. Right now, even though the Moro arc is coming to an end, whatever the next storyline is, they don't know what it is, which means they haven't been thinking about it that much. I'm sure they'll come up with something decent, but what that tells me is that there really is no greater plan with Dragon Ball Super right now. They are continuing the story, but with no TV show behind it, it's basically a freestyle, and maybe you can see more of that coming out in especially this latest chapter draft leaks, Goku giving out sensu beans and then potentially instantly regretting it, that is something that a serious Goku who takes things seriously would never do. At the moment, the stage is narrowing down general ideas with Toriyama and Toyotaro. What that means is they'll maybe come up with 10 storylines that they could potentially do. They'll then narrow it down to 3, then narrow it down to 1. These ideas could range from going to Universe 6 to meet the Saiyans, find the last surviving Saiyan King, check out some of those universes that were absent in the Tournament of Power, even doing something higher up with the gods and angels. These are all ideas that they would be thinking about, but at the moment, even though the Moral Arc has maybe 2 or 3 chapters left, they do not actually know which way the story is going to go, and what direction they're going to take, which means any possibilities of the Moro arc transferring into the next arc, almost like how the Saiyan saga translated perfectly into the Namek and Frieza saga, because they haven't thought about that in advance, the chances of the Moro arc translating into the next one is very, very low. Like I said, at the moment, this is basically a freestyle. They've hinted at things that could and probably will relate to future arcs, like Beerus having to confront the Grand Priest about an angel dying, one of his own sons dying on his watch. That is all stuff that was done in this arc that could be used in the next arc. But right now, the truth is, and maybe this has been the case for a very long time, Dragon Ball is a freestyled series. Although it does have some well thought out things, it is a freestyled series. And when things just so happen to match up with previous arcs, it's even that much more impressive or just a complete coincidence. Anyway, those are some updates on the ending of the Moro arc and the beginning of the new arc. The newest part of the story is just gonna be out in a few days. Goku is underway giving Moro a sensu bin, and if the rumors are true, he instantly regrets it. Is there any redemption for that? Even the chance of getting redeemed for something so dumb? Let me know what you think. I wanna thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.